Take one. <laughs> Today, we're here because of those glorious holiday sales. And I bought more things than I should have because I have a problem. And that problem is I can never have too much camera equipment. Uh, today, these are all things we are going to do future videos on, but it all came in within the past two weeks or so. To start off, is this in focus? I don't know if it's in focus. Can you see that? Yeah. It's the uh, SL60W. I bought a second one. It is our main light that you have seen in other videos. Usually it can be on sale. They're, I think, hundred and around 150. Literally comes with a, I believe this is a 10 foot power cord. And, and I love this light because it is quiet, it is bright, and it is, stop with the rustling. So I love this light because it is fairly quiet. The fan is not too loud in it. It is bright and it has a Bowens mount. So you can put professional soft boxes and accessories onto it. Just that easy as soon as I figure it out. Just, just, you're making me look bad. Just that easy. Ta-da! <laughs> it's beautiful though. This is uh, now what will be our second light that we have. Would you mind toning that back on? There you go. Thanks, bud. Uh, but no, this light does not come with a softbox. This light does not come with a stand. You got to buy those separately. But most lights don't come with a softbox or batteries or stands. You, they're all separate. You know, companies just got to make money. But great light, under $200. Highly recommend. We, we're going to be doing videos on them in the future. I bought the Ore windscreen. This I have actually not used yet. I haven't even opened it. But for, perfect. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Um, but I bought this for outdoor shoots. I wanna be able to use the, my shotgun mic, my Rode NTG2, uh, and be able to handle some wind. I've never used one of Ore's products before, but we'll see. How it, how it handles some, some outdoors. Ooh, look at the pretty GVM box. Ooh, ah, ooh. GVM, great video maker. They make some great products. I've been looking for a RGB light for a while. And this is bi-color. This is uh, full RGB as well. Takes a little MPF also branded light so that's looking fancy let me see if i can figure this out real quick oh yeah it's very easy just on off and let me not blind myself hey look at that it seems pretty bright it's intense actually so yeah it's got a saturation hue and color knob right here pretty it's pretty simple and then brightness you can go from can go from zero to five, all the way up to 100% for brightness. And then I believe, yep, you press it in and now you got full color. And that is bright, so that's good. We'll be using this for backgrounds and I mean, we can use this, we can use this for a lot. So this will, but also, so yeah, I actually bought two of these. They're on sale, then the Aperture just released some small RGBs, but they are fairly expensive. I think they're 90 or 100. And these, I got two, f I got two for 90, so um, half the price. Now this doesn't have any of like the wireless charging or the uh, phone capabilities as the Aperture, but I actually don't like that Aperture has a built-in battery. I like being able to, you know, if it dies, I can just put on another battery and I don't have to worry about having to charge it for hours. And this, speaking of aperture, I did order this, got me a light dome mini because my current softbox 
is the size of a small apartment. And it takes up my entire small apartment. <laughs> it's way too big. Oh man, I haven't... How does this open? I don't even know. So with this... That's actually kind of a cool bag. It's got like pockets and stuff. All right, yeah, I've never, this is the first time I'm ever even touching an aperture thing. I bought this just because I wanted something smaller, something more manageable, something we can put closer to us. Um, and it's an aperture product. Um, I believe I actually got it on sale for half off, but I will figure this out and we will do, we will do some kind of review. So C stands are expensive, but Things like this impact makes a multi-boom light stand and reflector holder. So I can do many things with that. I can attach, it's basically a C-stand that's much cheaper than a C-stand. Instead of paying, you know, a couple hundred dollars for a C-stand. They did, they jammed two things in here. <laughs> There's the boom pole that I ordered. <laughs> Cause it was also on sale. Let's crack this open. So this is the K-Tech, good thing I just threw it, hold on. The K-Tech KE89CC. It is a seven and a half foot boom pole. Uh, has the cable running through it, so you just put your XLR right in there in the bottom. Run it to your audio source, and then you get a cable here at the top. That is currently taped, so I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't actually own a boom pole, so now I do. Because we getting all this gear, because we want to make short films soon. All right, now this. <sighs> yeah, they love tape. They love tape, they love foam, they love plastic. And I'm not gonna figure this out right now, but we'll make a video on it. But I don't know how this works. It's very tall. I don't know quite how this works yet, but we'll, uh, we'll do a video on that soon. A lot of clampies. Hope one of the things I want to do with this is hang the aforementioned boom pole from it, and then we don't. We can have a manless boom. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all of the reviews and how-tos that we're about to put out with all this new gear. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.